Welcome to the chilling narrative of Resident Evil Revelations, where we first encounter Jill Valentine and her partner Parker Luciani in the floating city of Terra Grigia, a city that was once a beacon of progress and innovation, now a desolate wasteland echoing the chilling cries of its past inhabitants. Jill, an experienced member of the Bioterrorism Security Assessment Alliance, or BSAA, and Parker, an equally seasoned agent, find themselves in the heart of this ghost city. Their mission? To unravel the unsettling truth behind the bioterror incident that has turned this once bustling metropolis into a living nightmare. The T Abyss virus, a name that sends shivers down the spine of even the bravest, has ravaged Terra Grigia. It has transformed its citizens into horrifying creatures, a grotesque parody of their former selves. The virus, a terrifying testament to the destructive power of bioterrorism, is the silent antagonist that Jill and Parker must face. As they traverse the eerie, abandoned streets of Terra Grigia, the duo encounters remnants of the city's tragic past. Abandoned homes, deserted parks, and the haunting silence serve as grim reminders of the lives lost to the T Abyss virus. Their quest is not without its dangers. The T Abyss virus has birthed monstrous creatures that lurk in the shadows, ever ready to strike. Every corner turned, every path taken could lead to a deadly encounter. But Jill and Parker, armed with their training and unwavering determination, press forward. Each clue they uncover, every piece of the puzzle they assemble brings them closer to the truth. A truth that is as horrifying as it is revealing. The T Abyss virus was no accident. It was a deliberate act of bioterrorism intended to cause chaos and destruction. As Jill and Parker delve deeper, they find that Terra Grigia holds more horrors than they anticipated. But they are undeterred. They know they must confront the ghosts of the past to prevent a future of fear. Their journey into the heart of darkness has only just begun. As the plot takes a twist, Jill and Parker find themselves on the abandoned luxury cruise ship, the Queen Zenobia. Its grandeur and opulence are now shrouded in a chilling silence, a stark contrast to its former glory. The only sound that can be heard is the creaking of the ship, as if whispering the horrors it has witnessed. They tread carefully, every step echoing through the empty corridors. The eerie stillness is soon broken by the discovery of their comrades, Chris Redfield and Jessica Sherawat. The presence of these two seasoned BSAA agents on the ship is perplexing, adding another layer to the already intricate mystery. Chris and Jessica were sent by the BSAA, but for what purpose? Why the Queen Zenobia? These questions hang heavy in the air, creating a palpable tension. The answers, however, remain elusive, buried deep within the ship's haunted confines. As Jill and Parker delve deeper into the ship's haunting secrets, they stumble upon a shocking revelation. The ship isn't just a vessel lost in time, it's a stage for a sinister plot orchestrated by a new enemy organization. This shadowy group calls themselves Il Veltro. Their name, as ominous as their intentions, sends a shiver down the spine. Il Veltro's involvement brings a new dimension to the tale. Their motives, their plans, their identity all remain shrouded in darkness. But one thing is clear. They are a force to be reckoned with. Their presence on the Queen Zenobia is no accident. It's a harbinger of a storm that is yet to come. As Jill and Parker grapple with this revelation, they realize their mission is far from over. The Queen Zenobia isn't just an abandoned ship. It's a labyrinth of secrets, a ticking time bomb ready to unleash havoc. The mystery deepens as they uncover the involvement of a new enemy organization called Il Veltro. The plot thickens, the stakes get higher, and our heroes find themselves in the heart of a chilling conspiracy. The next move is theirs, and every decision could mean the difference between survival and a fate worse than death. As the plot thickens, the game delves into flashbacks revealing Il Veltro's plan to unleash the T Abyss virus on Terra Grigia. In a move that harkens back to classic Resident Evil storytelling, Revelations employs strategic use of flashbacks to peel back the layers of Il Veltro's insidious plot. These eerie glimpses into the past serve not only as a narrative device, but also as a chilling reminder of the horrors that have already been unleashed. Il Veltro, a shadowy organization with dark intentions, is at the heart of the terror. Their plan? To expose the truth behind the destruction of Terra Grigia by releasing the T Abyss virus into the city. A monstrous act of bioterrorism, the virus transforms the city's inhabitants 
into nightmare-inducing creatures. But Il Veltro's ambitions don't stop at Terra Grigia. Their ultimate aim is far more nefarious, to create global chaos. They seek to exploit the fear and disorder that comes with the outbreak, sowing seeds of terror on an unprecedented scale. Jill Valentine and Parker Luciani, our brave protagonists, find themselves caught in the midst of this terrifying plot. As they navigate the haunted corridors of the Queen Zenobia, they are haunted by these flashbacks, each one revealing a piece of the puzzle that is Il Veltro's plan. These revelations serve to heighten the tension and urgency of their mission. Each new piece of information, each horrifying flashback, only serves to underline the enormity of the threat they face. This is not just a fight for their own survival, but potentially for the survival of humanity itself. In true Resident Evil fashion, Revelations manages to weave a tale that is as chilling as it is captivating. It draws us into a world where the line between good and evil is blurred, where the heroes must confront not only the horrors that lurk in the shadows, but also the darkness that resides in the hearts of men. The stakes rise as Jill and Parker uncover Il Veltro's horrifying plan. As they delve deeper into the mystery, they must face their fears and the grim reality that they may be the world's last hope against the tide of bioterror. As Jill and Parker continue their exploration of the Queen Zenobia, they unveil its dark secrets. The luxury cruise ship, now a ghostly shell of its former glory, holds a labyrinth of horror and despair, each corner more chilling than the last. Imagine being trapped in these haunting corridors, where the only sound is the dreadful silence, broken occasionally by the distant echoes of the ship's past. Jill and Parker navigate through this eerie silence, their footsteps a stark reminder of the life that once thrived within these walls. As they delve deeper into the ship, they encounter horrific creatures mutated beyond recognition by the Tiabis virus. Each confrontation is a battle for survival, a dance with death, but Jill and Parker are no ordinary individuals. They face these abominations with unwavering courage, their resolve hardened by the grim reality they have to endure. The Queen Zenobia is not just a vessel of horror, but also a puzzle box of the most intricate design. Each room, each passage, holds a piece of the puzzle that Jill and Parker must solve to unravel the ship's mysteries. The solutions are never straightforward. They require keen observation, sharp intellect, and a knack for thinking outside the box. As they venture deeper into the heart of the Queen Zenobia, they cross paths with the enigmatic Jack Norman, the leader of Il Veltro. A confrontation is inevitable. Norman, driven by his twisted ideals, poses a formidable challenge. His intentions are as murky as the ship's dimly lit corridors. Yet Jill and Parker stand their ground, ready to face whatever horrors Norman throws their way. The tension rises as they strive to stop the spread of the t -Abyss virus. Every second counts in this deadly race against time. Each moment is fraught with danger. Each decision could mean the difference between life and death. But Jill and Parker press on, driven by their shared determination to save humanity from the nightmare unfolding before their very eyes. The climactic chapter sees Jill and Parker facing off against Jack Norman. This confrontation is more than a battle of survival. It's a battle for truth. As the tension mounts, the murky waters of deception begin to clear, and the secrets behind Jack Norman's motivations start to unfold. Norman, the enigmatic leader of Il Veltro, emerges from the shadows, revealing a man driven not by madness, but by a twisted sense of justice. This revelation takes us back to the origins of Il Veltro, painting a picture of an organization born out of desperation, not evil. Il Veltro, once a beacon of hope for the disenfranchised, had been twisted into a weapon of bioterrorism. The T Abyss virus, their creation, was not meant for destruction, but as a cry for help that echoed into the abyss and returned as a monstrous echo. As the battle rages on, Jill and Parker are faced with a chilling realization to prevent the further spread of the T-Abyss virus, sacrifices must be made. And in their world, sacrifices often mean lives. Their determination is tested as they fight, not just for their survival, but for the survival of humanity. In the end, they manage to halt the spread of the virus, but at a heavy cost. Friends are lost, and the specter of bioterrorism continues to loom large. As the dust settles, Jill reflects on the events that unfolded. 
realizing that the threat of bioterrorism is far from over. The revelations from this chapter serve as a stark reminder of the thin line between good intentions and catastrophic consequences. A line that resident evil revelations straddles with chilling precision, leaving us with a haunting question. What happens when the heroes we trust become the monsters we fear? As the dust settles, Jill reflects on the events that unfolded, realizing that the threat of bioterrorism is far from over.